Hello and welcome to another video of Web3 development. In this video, we are going to create a wallet, a crypto wallet using Web3. Please note, in our previous videos, we had created a crypto wallet using MetaMask. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a crypto wallet using Web3 and then check the test nets as well as the the Etherscan mainnet. So let's do that. Go to Web3 and in other previous videos, we used the Node.js on Ripplet to connect to the Web3. So we're going to do the same method. Please refer to the previous videos. So let's do the, the wallet, the account creation, the wallet address creation. So the first step, I'm going to do a node and then I'm going to do a var web3 equals require web3. And if, if you get an error on this step, you need to install web3. So please look at our previous video in order to make sure you are able to run through this video. Undefined is fine. And this is okay to get undefined. And then using Infura net, I'm going to connect. Uh, again, please look at the previous in order to understand how to connect to in using InfuraNet API. Infura.io API. So I have created the Web3 handler. Now, in order to check the Web3 handler, what I'm really going to do is run this command to look at the last transaction. Again, it is the same thing in the previous video. So web3 is the handler.eth.get block latest. So it's going to get the latest block dot then console.log. So this is good. Now I'm going to do a console dot. So this, this shows that it is working. And now I'm going to create an account. In order to create the account, the command is web3.eth dot accounts dot create and when i run this what i'm going to see on the screen is a public key and a private key you don't want to share to the share the private key as we discussed in the previous video so let me run this and i'll show you how it looks so as soon as i do a create i get this address which is my public key this is my private key. I have hidden the component of private key. Obviously, don't want to share the private key with anybody else. And then you have this. Now, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to copy this public address and look at this address on etherscan.io. Going to, I have pasted the public key and I'm going to go to the etherscan.io and I'm going to paste my public key. As soon as I paste my public key, you're going to see this address ending in 3073. And you have zero ether. Obviously, you haven't transferred any ether on this address yet. Now, I'm going to take this and import that in the MetaMask. So this account, I'm going to import using the private key. I hope you had copied the private key and saved it somewhere. So I have my private key saved and I go to MetaMask, I go to account, say import account and paste the private key here. Now, what I'm gonna do is pause the video, paste the private key and click on import. So I'm gonna pause the video now. As soon as I imported the private, uh, private key, it says account two and remember it's ending in 3073 and we created 3073. So this account now shows up in my MetaMask. In the next set of videos, we are going to use this account for our development and playing around in Web3. So thank you for watching and keep watching.